It has been such an exciting year for Dwayne and I. I mean, epic, right? I mean, wedding, the baby, baby. <laughs> DNA, DNA everything. miracles. So, you know, we have so much to be thankful for. We are so grateful here, you know, grateful for every single one of you here, for all your support. Yes, we and are. And your love that you've shared with us. So, thank you. You know, five years ago, you were here when Amber and, uh, and my love story began. And we're so humbled that five years later, you're here for the birth of what our love has created. <laughs> there he is. Aiden Michael McLaughlin. <laughs> And we're so proud to be parents. I mean, we love children. Love babies. Love all children. I mean, Amber is a natural born mother. I mean, she, she's just the best. She's incredible. And I, I mean, who doesn't love babies? Who I mean, doesn't I think love it's babies? hard to, to not love. I mean, besides the pee and the pooping and, you know, the crazy <laughs> no sleep schedules, who can't love babies? Exactly. So. I mean, if you don't, if you don't love babies, and you know what, you might as well just you know, hit the concourse for a little bit, okay, grab yourself a hot dog, you know, <laughs> take some time. But before you do that, let me just, uh, let me just put these, these facts on you. In 2011, the global baby care product market was worth $44 billion. <laughs> yeah, today, the baby product care market is worth $52 billion. So if babies aren't your thing, you might want to show babies a little bit more love. <laughs> <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen, today is a very, very special day because in the 21 years of Market America's operation, there has never, ever, ever, ever been a product line specifically designed and formulated for newborns, children, and expectant mothers. So today is such a special day. We are so excited to share the launch of this new line with you guys. And there are so many, so many exciting things that we are going to be talking with you about today. When Amber and I were creating DNA Miracles, you know, we knew exactly what we wanted. We just we just didn't know how to do it. <laughs> and I think that everyone here will agree that if you want to know how to do something and do it right, there is one person that you have to call. The godfather of DNA Miracles and DNA Miracles Natural, Mr. Marty Weissman. I cried at your wedding, and I cried back there again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we cried. <laughs> Every time we see it. You know, I look at you two, and it's just beautiful. You know, there's a saying that um, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Well, in this case, we have two trees. Her, her beauty, her charm, her, um, her marketing savvy comes from her beautiful mother and uh, her passion and an entrepreneurial zeal, of course, comes from JR. It's a winning combination. Uh, Dwayne, you know, Dwayne, I've only known you for a short period of time, but not only are you um, an accomplished artist, entertainer, actor, but your, um, your passion and your desire um, to get things done and done them right is what makes this team a winning combination. We are so very proud to be Thank able you. to work with you Thank guys. Thank you. <laughs> we love you, Marty. I mean, this is really, you know, in the 21 years that I've been doing this for Mark in America, I can honestly say that this has really been a labor of love. It really has been. It's been a lot of fun. There are times when you've changed your minds a lot of times, Dwayne. <laughs> that's okay. So. <laughs> Making my people crazy. But you know, in the beginning, like they said, we brought in everybody. We brought in our science department, we brought in our marketing department, we brought in our sourcing department. I brought in my right hand in Elizabeth Benton, and we did some surveys to see, 
you know, Dwayne, well, first of all, when he came, when he came to us, he said, I want bottles, I want clothing, I want, I mean, everything. Diapers, kid, pacifiers. Have everything. <laughs> whoa, whoa, Dwayne. Dwayne, wait a minute. You know, we do things really well when it comes to nutraceuticals, right. when it comes to cosmeceuticals, when it comes to personal care. Let's start off there, okay? And yes, we hit some did. home runs here, I can tell you right now. Wait till you see these products. <laughs> but the amazing thing is, I'm going to go right into the product, okay? Let's do it. Um, you got one under the desk there. We do. We, in a survey, we found that one of the top products out there for children was gummies and gummy bears. Well, I got to tell you, we made the best. No question about it. Now, absolute best. Really, don't, don't go to Walmart and don't go to Kmart and don't go to the stuff that, uh, that they put out there on the shelves and call gummy bears and whatever because that's just candy for your kids. Pure all right? sugar. True. Yeah. And you guys, you know, you really inspired us. You really did. You inspired us to make the best of the best. And there's no question. You know, I think what I really would like to do, Dwayne, is bring out Deidre because nobody better than her can explain what we have I agree. here. I agree. She's an active physician at the Elite Health and Medical Group. She's a specialist in naturopathic medicine. She's a genius. She's a sweetheart. She is so powerful, such an entrepreneur, and we are so grateful and honored to have her here today. Dr. Mason, you know, we are, we are so honored uh, to have you here with us. You know, you've been sampling and testing the yeah. DNA Miracles gummy vitamins. Yeah. Um, and we know that you have a unique background given your career and uh, just given all of the years that you've spent uh, in your practice. Now, especially when it comes to healthy alternatives, uh, what are m many parents saying about that? Well, when it comes to the natural alternatives, of course, these babies are precious to us, and yet they don't come with instruction manuals. So new parents are very nervous about what they're going to offer or what they're going to do. Right. So as an alternative uh, practitioner, an integrated practitioner, I'm able to help counsel pa uh, parents, new mommies and daddies, on what some of those options might be. And micronutrient support, development, uh, supporting their baby's growth is so important to them. And, they, and we know that children can also be really, really picky. So something like a gummy vitamin, a multiple vitamin, is going to fill in gaps where their diet fell short, where we can ensure that they get all of the micronutrient or sound nutrient support that they need. Right. Right. It's very, very powerful uh, what we've been able to do here, what you guys have been able to do here for new moms and dads. Well, it's so exciting. You. Now, are there, are there benefits to recommending a gummy vitamin? Are there benefits to recommending a gummy over? Yeah, I mean, a gummy over a regular vitamin, taking a... You know, one thing that's important, of course, is that we're trying to set good habits with our children. We want to ensure uh, that, that they recognize that these small steps, uh, if done consistently or done every day, um, are going to lead to bigger benefits. It's going to lead to the children um, understanding the importance of, of eating right and good dietary habits and good health habits. Right? And that's something that when you can make it fun for them and tasty for them, but not put junk in there. And so that, that, that's what really like, spoke right. to you guys and spoke to me as a practitioner, is 23 nutrients, 12, 12 essential nutrients for these kids. Uh, very, very little sugar compared to other products that are on the market. I don't even want to say compared to other products on the market, just very little sugar, period. And mm -hmm. yet the kids are going to love the taste of them and they're going to get a fantastic amount of the nutrients that right. they need and they're going to stay compliant. And that's good health habits, right? Something that they're going to do every day. That's fantastic. Right. That's right. Make you know, it fun for them. <laughs> always. You know, um, with, so many, with so many different brands and products on the market. I mean, why can't you just pick any multivitamin and give it to your children? You know, the, the industry, unfortunately, it's this industry in particular, when, with children's vitamins, had to kind of, there was going to be a trade-off. They could make a product that, a, a, a multivitamin for a child that had a lot of nutrients in it that was very sound nutritionally, but it wouldn't taste good. Oh. Right? So what right. ended up happening in this industry is they had this trade-off where they said, we want to sell more vitamins, so let's make them taste good, put sugar in them, and that meant that they had to give up a lot, a lot of the nutrients. 
so okay. the kids would take right. them. And that's my, just something that you guys did magnificent yeah, you might job as well with. give your kid a Hershey bar when you buy that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> or actual gummy bears. the bottom bears, line. It's right? candy. It's candy. Yeah, absolutely. Now, what sets the DNA gummy vitamin apart from your regular gummy vitamin that you'll find on the shelf? You guys would be shocked to see when you compare DNA gummies to what is available on the market, in, in, especially in the gummy um, aisle. Uh, for these kids, 23 different nutrients. As I said, 12 essential nutrients. Remember, essential means your body can't make it. You need to take it, and these kids really, really right. need it for muscular growth, for cellular health, for neurologic health. Many of the competitors in this market have five, seven nutrients, not 23, right. not 12 essential, right? Those are A mine. handful. <laughs> We're just borrowing them. We'll just get one. We'll give them I'll right just take back. two. <laughs> just two. Yes. Three I'm or four. Sorry. We'll share. Okay. He takes my gummies. No one's going to take his gummies. He's <laughs> a godfather. Exactly. Uh, Dr. Mason, knowing all that, that we now know, and uh, after all of the research, would you recommend DNA gummy vitamins to your patients? Without exception, and th this is something that's really important to get across. A lot of parents have been told by their practitioners, stay away from gummies. They're, they're evil gummy bears, right? It's candy. This is not the case. This is not the case. They are brilliant. Unadulterated <laughs> brilliant. Beautiful. Well, thank you oh, so thank much. Thank you so much oh. for being here with us today, for well, being a part of first. this line, for helping us. <laughs> thank you, Dr. Mason. Thank you both. So, Mr. Godfather. Yes, darling. That's an important title, actually. These are good. That's a, that's a very I good I mean, they're role. really good. They are. <laughs> I, wonder what happens good. When, I wonder what happens when you eat the whole bottle. <laughs> you you want to try it right now? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't think so. You already ate half of them. Before you get any second ideas. <laughs> Open, so. push down, and turn. Close <laughs> tightly. What do you want to close it for when you have it open already? <laughs> So we have our first product. Great product. Now great. we're going to talk about three other great products, right? Fantastic yes. products. You had the um, genius idea of breaking this down into right now, all right, because there's a lot more to come down the road, mm -hmm. into two different categories, right, Dwayne? Yes. Right, right. We, we wanted to make sure that uh, we catered to so many children and babies that have sensitive skin. You know, when I was a baby, I suffered from terrible eczema, and I still have some traces of it now. Uh, but the natural approach to, uh, to our skin and, and, and wellness is just the best possible direction we could have gone in. We, we really needed something that was natural, that was safe, that we knew had, you know, no chemical irritants, nothing that would you know, harm a newborn or, you know, even a young baby's skin just because they're, you know, people don't realize how much thin, you know, how, how much more thin their skin is than ours and how fast they take in the toxins, you know? Right. So it was so important to us to focus on something, even though we wanted to go with the bottles and the diapers and everything and, you know, full force, yeah. we had to focus on, you know, something that was natural, something that was safe and something that, you know, could be trusted. So. so what we did was, once again, we went to our science team and went to a few pediatricians. And, you know, this thing doesn't happen overnight. We developed products and we kept developing and developing and developing until we came up with what we feel are the best products out there in these categories. You know, when a child is born and, um, you know, they give you a package when you leave the hospital, right? right. But i got to tell you something. They're not giving you the high-end stuff. No. Not at right? all. They're not giving you, I'm what's, not going to mention you know, the J&Js of the world. What, they get it for nothing, all right, quite frankly. What's cheap all right? for exactly. them. We didn't want to be there, all right? And they're not all natural products. That's correct. They're not all natural. That's you. They're not. But, you know, what I liked about when Dwayne and Amber came to us, they said, we want to follow the same theme with our products as Market America has done with their isotonics products, with their cosmeceutical products, we want to make the Lumiere de V in baby care products, all right? That's what we wanted to accomplish. Yes, yes we did. That's we her. Have That's her. All and these amazing products in the company that, you know, anti-aging, that keep people young, and, you know, this line is 
really keeps you healthy and young and keeps your skin looking amazing and soft from the first day of life. So, you know, that was so an DNA Miracles thing Natural Line. Yes. <laughs> it's incredible, incredible And pediatrician products. approved. You know, and who better to talk about these products than Doctor. one of the pediatricians that we went to to help us with these products and try them out, all right? Exactly. You know, when it comes to children's health and development, our next special guests are leading experts. Dr. Michael McKenzie is a board-certified pediatrician who's held staff at the Boston Children's Hospital and Harvard Medical School. His wife, Dr. Lee, is a pediatric nurse and a developmental psychologist. Market America, please welcome Dr. Michael McKenzie and Lee McKenzie. You know, we, are, we clearly love when family works together, so this pair worked <laughs> out perfectly. You know, it runs, it runs in the Market America family. So, you know, you guys have been such a great support of the line and, and, you know, we are so lucky to have, you know, not only an amazing pediatrician working with us on the line, but his beautiful wife is a pediatric nurse. So to have, you know, this amazing duo here working with us and, and, and testing and actually, you know, helping us to make sure that these products were, you know, efficient and, and you know, we're real, that you, we're not just marketing something like, a, you know, a million and one lines are on the market. We wanted something that worked, and they have been there with us from the beginning, you know, and they have thousands, thousands of patients that they have helped, and, you know, they know and have firsthand experience on why natural is so important. So, you know, you both have worked with thousands, thousands of kids and patients in your careers. You know, do many of your patients ask, you know, whether natural or organic is important? All the time. Um, many years ago, no one cared about it, but I think the trend towards natural, organic, eating right, doing the right thing for your body is sweeping the country finally. And so they, yeah. And so parents care about what they use for their children, what they feed their children. Like Dr. Mason said, you don't want to put junk in your child. You don't want to put junk on your child. Right. And the naturals line, you took care of that. <laughs> I think it's a great follow-up to the care that mothers take of themselves during pregnancy, where they're so careful about what they're eating, they're not drinking, there's no caffeine, that they're really taking care of their baby inside. And I think to have a natural product to be able to use to continue that trend and to promote the health of their babies is so important. Excellent, excellent. You know, most of us, when we shower, when we bathe, we just use, you know, soap and water. Mm -hmm. What is it about a baby skin that requires something special? Well, you said it a few minutes ago. The skin of babies is thinner than it will be later in life. And, you know, I bet there's not a woman and many of the men in this audience who don't know that it's important to take care of their skin but a lot of the care we're taking is to fix what we did wrong, using soap and water on our right. face, for example. Right. right. If you start babies off with skin protection, natural repair, and building of the structural integrity of the skin, hopefully down the road, we won't have to help them fix what we did wrong. Right. As a, as a pediatrician, the... the I see babies with rashes all the time, mm. and a good number of them, in fact, the majority, are very nonspecific. It's not that there was a specific thing, there wasn't a specific co uh, contact, just very, very sensitive. And I've long held a belief that somewhere this is related to the chemicals in our world. And so taking real care to have babies being bathed in the right stuff is by far and away the best way to start them off. That's yeah. great. That's now, great. I know diaper rash is such a problem for, you know, a lot of parents to deal with, and especially caring for it properly. Is there any way to prevent diaper rash? Some babies are much more sensitive than others, but for all babies, you need three things when applying to the diaper area to protect the skin optimally. You need a barrier to keep out the urine and the stool and other things. You need something to be moisturizing and beginning to build and protect the skin 
And lastly, you need something that is beginning to nourish it. And all of these products, the diaper cream does all of those things at once so that parents aren't having to use a moisturizer and then putting a barrier on top of that, that it's one step and one perfect product for all of that. You know, the other thing that I really love about the diaper cream is it's easy to apply, but it doesn't leave that sticky residue. And any time you use a diaper cream that has a sticky residue, it's sitting on the top of the skin. It's right. not penetrating the epi epidermal layer. And so it's not providing that healing, nurturing effect that the diaper cream does. The other thing is, when babies have diaper rashes, if you're using the thick creams that sit on the top, every time you change them, which you do very often, yeah. you know? <laughs> we, we know so, that. <laughs> yeah. Babies go through about 100 diapers yeah. a week, so you're doing a lot of changing. You have to rub it off, and sometime with a lot of friction, and if babies have a rash, that hurts. Yeah. This diaper cream is easy to remove, and I think that's a big plus for it. I agree. I think, you know, I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that when we, when we formulated it, we made sure that it had a really high water base, and it's yes. not a petroleum jelly. Yes. You know, one thing about petroleum jellies is they don't come off. And this, this diaper cream, it's, it's, it's really special, and it's, it's almost like butter. Mm. <laughs> it's, it's, a diaper, it's a diaper butter, and it's for an amazing price. People are in the booth rubbing it on their skin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, I know over the course of your careers, you know, I'm sure your patients have asked you for, you know, your professional opinion when it comes to baby lotions, baby washes, diaper creams. You know, what do you, what do you normally recommend them? In general, I've always said it doesn't really matter. The products that are on the market, there's not much to choose between them. And I have genuinely felt that. There was no incentive, there was nothing about the products that would have me be willing to say, this is something you should use. We are now in the position to be able to very clearly and very happily and enthusiastically endorse an amazing line of products for yeah. all of our babies. Yeah. And as we were thinking about this, Lee, and once we got here and ex looked at the packaging, which is just so, so gorgeous, <laughs> Lee's idea that we had before we got here is? Well, in our medical practice, we do home visits on every newborn baby with the idea that you really want to build a relationship. And knowing where people are taking care of their babies is powerful for building our relationship. So now, in addition to doing home visits, we will be taking little gift bags of the three products because we do believe in them. Oh, thank you. Thank you guys so, so, that's so powerful. much. That's powerful. That's that's powerful. So thank you guys. <laughs> thank, thank you guys you. for being thank a part you. of this, for supporting us, and you know we know there's so much more to come. So thank you thank for you. Thanks, coming guys. up with thank these. You. Thank, thank you guys you so much. Thank you, guys. Dr. Michael and Dr. Lee McKenzie, everyone. Wow, huh? That's powerful. That's powerful. We may make a dent into that $44 billion market. You know that? We will. <laughs> I agree. I agree. Not, not even a question. Not even a question. You know, and there's so many more wonderful products to come. You know, but what's the most special thing about this is we made sure that when we came out with this line, we wanted to give you the staple products. And uh, there's something about bathing a baby that just is so special between parent and child. It really creates a bonding experience. And uh, with DNA Miracles, that bonding experience is, is, is not only soothing, but it's enhanced. Now, now I have some good news for the two of you. These products, um, the three products, have already been cleared for Canada, <laughs> Australia, <laughs> Taiwan, <laughs> and Hong Kong. Well, that's right. That, it, it's we're, so we're, we're in the process. We're in the process of getting these cleared for Mexico and the UK. Exactly. Which is so exciting for us because you know in the U.S. the the guidelines and the regulations for having a natural product. It's really. I mean, it's unbelievable how there's really no no, no strict rules about it. So, you know when. If, when we came and said that we wanted to make a natural line, we wanted to make sure that 
it was 99.8% natural and we were giving you something that's not, you know, you don't have these hidden, hidden ingredients that aren't labeled and that are unmarked that are secretly in those products. For us, it, it had to be clear. If you could, you know, the, the longer the name, chances are it's not natural. So we wanted to keep it clear and easy and, you know, something that you knew was safe. So exactly. it's, Less it's is exciting. more and we kept it simple. And you know, nothing speaks more to um, yeah. the performance and the, and the, the greatness of the products right. and a few of the people that we have out there that have already tried the products, all right? That's right. I mean, so, we've heard from some brilliant uh, physicians and uh, we've had some amazing voices that have been here to speak with us that are, their voices are so widely respected, but we really wanted you to hear from some parents, some new parents, uh, just like us. So, ladies and gentlemen, these amazing new parents, awesome testimonials. You know, Eddie Alberti, his beautiful wife Lois, and their um, beautiful little girl Giselle, you know, Brandy Murphy, Brandy who Murphy. just had a baby a month ago. That's right. Who is here. And, you know, and Dr. Dr. Mark, Mark Lang. Dr. Mark Lang. So, would you guys come on up? Lois and I <laughs> will only accept the best for Giselle. Much like many of you with your children, um, you know, and as new parents, there's a lot that's out there, a lot to choose from, and it's, it's challenging. There's, uh, it's tough to tell what's healthy and unhealthy, um, safe and unsafe. And again, it's, it's very challenging. Beautiful thing about DNA Miracles is it takes a guesswork out for all parents. Um, they've teamed with doctors and scientists, like they mentioned, to provide products that we can trust. That's right. Just to note, the diaper cream is our favorite, by far the best on the market. It's amazing. But you know the best part about all this? Great products, but the biggest thing too is now that we're converting our spending into earning. You know, building our shopping annuity, earning BV with amazing products. So nothing but the best. Thank you for coming out with amazing products. Thank, Thank you. you, Eddie. Thank, Thank you, babe. I'm so happy to be up here today, not only as the director of quality control, but to speak to you as a parent. Now my wife is a a pediatric nurse at a local hospital. And every day she deals with sometimes desperately ill children, especially newborn babies. And so she has a lot of credibility, especially in my eyes, when it comes to proper care of small children. And over the years, we as parents have tried just about every product out there. And even a lot of prescription products, and the, the results have always been less than satisfying, if not disappointing. And we're concerned about some of the ingredients that they put into these products. So when the new DNA Naturals line came out, I wanted to get the input from my wife and say, hey, what do you think of these? So I showed her the products and the ingredients, and she looked at them and she said, wow, we don't have anything like this at the hospital. And then she took the, the bottle of, or the jar of DNA Miracles Natural diaper cream and she opened it up and looked inside and said, wow, this looks like whipped cream. <laughs> she got some on her fingers. Oh, it's silky smooth. Never seen anything like it. A lot better than the stuff we use at the hospital. And I said, yes, that's because there's no petroleum jelly in this That's product. Right. Rather, That's it's right. a natural jelly made from castor bean oil and beeswax. And that's what gives it that silky smooth feel. Then she said, okay, I'm intrigued. Let's put it to the acid test. Let's put it on Caitlin. <laughs> now let me explain something. I, I, uh, <laughs> Caitlin is our, is our youngest child. She's 18 months old, still in diapers. But I have to tell you what happened to Caitlin when she was only a few months old. She had a severe diaper rash. We went to the pediatrician. They prescribed some sort of ointment. Went to the pharmacist. We got it. We put it onto Caitlin's bottom. It was like putting on liquid fire. She screamed for three hours, we almost took her to the emergency room because we didn't know what to do and we couldn't scrape the junk off of her. 
And when we called the pharmacist, the pharmacist says, oh, that's natural. That's what always happens with this product. I was so angry. Since that moment, you can never put anything on Caitlin's bottom or anything on her skin, any type of lotion, cream, balm. She immediately freaks out and tries to wipe it out and starts bawling. So my wife puts the diaper cream, the DNA Miracles Natural diaper cream on her bottom. Caitlin's eyes are getting bigger and bigger. And you can hear her going, <gasps> She reaches down, gets some on her little fingers. <laughs> she looks at us and she smiles. <laughs> she loves it. It's a miracle. <laughs> my wife, my wife says, my wife says, it's a miracle. <laughs> I said, no, honey, it's DNA Miracles Natural Diaper Cream. <laughs> Brandy, I mean, that's really spectacular. That is but great. You, know, you know what's amazing, Doc? If you ever look at some of the products out in the market, right. they don't list all of their ingredients. No. You know that. No. You, you know that. Oh, you yes. Know, we list every ingredient on our product. Yes, we do. And it's simple. There's an easy yeah. chart to follow. You see what the ingredient is, what it's for, and where it comes from. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Brandy, how's the baby? Baby's doing great, keeping me busy, eating a lot, peeing and pooping a lot. <laughs> We're in the same boat, honey. Uh, <laughs> yes. And, you know, I have a 19-month-old. Many of you have met him before. Tristan uh, travels with me to all the events. He's been going with me to every event since he was three months old. So he's been to World Conference, he's been to Regionals, he's been to every Nutrimetrics event that's happened in the past almost two years. And I brought some pictures of Tristan because I want you to see how some of the other products and how some things contributed to a problem that he had. This was Tristan on his airplane ride to World Conference going to Miami. He was very excited. You can see that you know, he was kind of fist pumping. He was excited to come to World Conference. But he didn't really have a bad eczema outbreak there yet in the pictures. Um, Dwayne, if you go to the next picture, you'll see that this is in the hotel at the share, I mean, at the, uh, the host hotel down in Miami. He loves to eat eggs. And so he was eating the eggs in the hotel. And we make all of our own baby food at home. And I don't use a lot of additives and I don't use butter and I don't use a lot of those types of things. But in the hotel, he had a lot of butter and I didn't realize he had a dairy allergy. So within wow. two to three days of getting to the hotel, you'll see what he looked like when we were in Miami. If you go to the next picture, uh, he broke out with eczema all over his face. Wow. And not only was it on his face, but it was on his arms and legs also. And he started scratching it and itching and going crazy. And the more he itched it or scratched it, the worse it got. So when we got home from the event, I took him to the pediatrician. And the pediatrician talked about the fact that eczema is extremely common in children. In fact, one in five children have ex eczema at some point in their childhood. And there's not a lot that you can do for it. The pediatrician basically said to me, we don't know what the cause is. Usually there's some form of irritant, but you don't know what the irritant is. And because you can't rule everything out, then all that we're going to tell you to do is put some sort of moisture barrier on him to try to protect the irritants to get to him. So he prescribed for me a steroid cream that I refused to put on. It was an ointment that was filled with a steroid. And here I am looking at my son, who at the time was only 14 months old, thinking, I'm not starting the cycle of steroid use on a 14-year-old. Because what would happen would be, mm. if, if I put the steroid cream on him and that didn't work, then they wanted to give him an oral steroid. So what we started doing is we started looking for natural products. We started looking for irritants in his diet. We took out dairy. We took out wheat. And we started looking at what could we do to calm the, the irritants. And I talked to Lauren about it because we were down in Miami. And after the event, I had taken Tristan to the house. She got to see him, and she saw that. So when you guys were researching the line, Amber and Dwayne sent me some samples, and we started using the samples with Tristan and looking at the, the natural ingredients that are in the samples, things like in the body wash, the coconut oil that's in the body wash. It's so great to be able to find those natural products. And if you look at them today, uh, the next picture was just taken two weeks ago. It's Tristan at 19 months with Brayden, who turns one month old um, gorgeous. today. Gorgeous. But since we started using um, the product line, he's not had any out outbursts at all, even though we tend to go to restaurants sometimes where you can't 
you can't eliminate that they put dairy in or they put wheat in, which are his triggers. And one of the things that the, the pediatrician said to me once we figured this out is, you know, I have to be really careful what I wear as well because I do a lot of skin-to-skin -skin contact with my kids, both with Brayden and Tristan. When I'm holding them, you know, people don't think about this, but whatever I'm wearing can come off on their skin. And they can absorb up to 60% of what their skin comes into contact with. So I'm using the baby wash and the hydrating moisture lotion now. It's not just for the babies, but it's also for the parents that are holding the babies as well. Thanks, right. Brandy. Incredible. That is amazing. That's fantastic. Thank you. Thank well, you for sharing that with us. That's it, huh, Dwayne? Well, <laughs> that's the beginning. Yeah, <laughs> that's, we have so much that's exactly more exciting right. things that are on the it's way. It's just the beginning. It's been, We're um, working on diapers, on baby wipes that are coming soon. Probiotics. So many, yes, vitam more vitamins, everything. So we are so excited to share this with you. You know, this you, is really an exciting, exciting time for us. You know, the bottom line is Market America is, is so well respected for putting out excellent products. Uh, and they have products for everything, you know, to look better, uh, to feel beautiful, to, to, to stay strong, and to protect your body for a longer and healthier life. You know, when Amber and I created DNA Miracles, we wanted to make sure that we applied that same standard of excellence to DNA miracles. So not only will our products protect the body for later on in life, but it will protect the body from the first day of life. <laughs>